Hello, welcome to Web Concept. In this video we learn how to implement skeleton loader or ghost element. So, let's begin. This is our front end application and these data coming from the database that's why it take few seconds. We will make a skeleton or ghost element for this type of data. That we know which type of data is coming and how it will show. This is our back end code and this is our front end code. We need ngx skeleton loader npm package. Copy the command. and paste it on the terminal then press enter to run the command. The package is installed, now run the application. We have to import the ngx skeleton loader in app.module.ts file. As you can see the ngx skeleton loader is imported. We can implement custom skeleton for our application. Here is some examples, line skeleton, circle skeleton, square skeleton, Facebook skeleton. So, we need this one line of code, copy and paste it in user.component.html. Erase the count, we make a variable in ts file and here we use that variable. We need line skeleton so appearance should be line. Here we need a boolean type variable. Declare as true. An other variable is total count that is 10. Loader is equal to false. When data load the skeleton will automatically disappear. Skeleton will appear till the loader flag is true. Here we use the total count variable. This shows number of skeleton lines. As you can see the skeleton lines blink. Let's slow the network and see how it shows. This is how skeleton loader works. Add CSS, make lines height little bit bigger. Now it looks perfect. Now copy and paste and follow the same steps for other components. Move the CSS code to the parent component to apply for all the components. The code is available on GitHub. Link is in the description. If you want to learn Angular CRUD operation the link is show on the iCard. 